Super Typhoon Goni has made landfall in the Philippines with sustained winds of 225 kilometers an hour. Parts of the main island of Luzon are expected to be hit in the coming hours. Goni is likely to pass directly over the capital, Manila. Almost a million Filipinos sought refuge as Goni approached. Many have gone to covered secure refuge centers. Officials warn that the most powerful storm this year could cause catastrophic damage. I'm joined by our Philippines correspondent, Howard Johnson. Uh, Howard, we're here that huge fresh winds are on their way. What's going on right now? Yeah, you might be able to hear the wind blowing in at the moment. This is the calm before the storm. You can see this fog hanging over Manila at the moment. Persistent rain here at the moment, and they're waiting here for the storm to hit sometime this afternoon. Uh, at the moment, we're hearing news from where it did hit in the central Philippines. Catanduanes was where it hit at 5 a.m. this morning. Uh, a super typhoon, uh, the biggest this year that the world has seen, striking this small island. Now, nearby is a town called Virac with around 70,000 people in that municipality. And concern is what is happening there at the moment. But we are seeing social media images from other provinces and surrounding areas showing flash floods, water running down streets, uh, overwhelming damage. Dams. We've seen uh, houses with their roofs ripped off. The usual stuff that you see in the Philippines because many uh, of the structures here are makeshift with uh, tin roofs. So at the moment, what they're doing here is telling people to stay in. They've cancelled the uh, metro system here in Manila and also flights have been suspended from the main international airport. Just talking about where you are in Manila, what's it like for people knowing that in a potentially a few hours time the weather could get an awful lot worse are people buying supplies are they used to this this is a country that receives many storms every year and let's not forget back in 2013 a similar super typhoon typhoon haiyan hit this country and more than 6,000 people perished. The town by the sea was absolutely flattened. If you might remember the images, there was uh, just absolute devastation for miles to see. So this is a country that's used to the, these storms rolling through. Uh, there have been a lot of warnings in place. Signal four is up uh, of a maximum of five. That means that winds of uh, up to 220 kilometers an hour could be hitting Manila later today. But signal five is up on the coast. So people are being smashed by the winds at the moment. And as it drags across the land, it, it reduces its power. But here, people are relatively used to staying in at the moment because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And let's not forget these evacuation centers are now social distancing. They're advising uh, people to not have as many people in the evacuation centers so as not to increase the risk of spread. And people are wearing masks and face shields, which is a prerequisite here if you're using public transport or in a public space. Does the country have enough resources to deal with this? Well, this is a country that allocates a lot of resources to it. Each uh, uh, province has a uh, strategy always in place. And we've seen many uh, in my time here, I've seen many different provinces with their different evacuation centers and they're always well resourced.